way the first Samya monastery built up and in that way it flourished the Buddha Dharma or the teaching all over the Tibet uh, until now. And according to that, from the 12th century before, whatever Dharma has been flourishing, it is called Nima, the old tradition or the old translation. So according to that, we have, you know, six mother monasteries within our Nima uh, tradition in Tibet, and uh, out of which one ourselves is called, you know, Bayu in the eastern part of you know, Tibet. And uh, there, uh, our uh, previous uh, His Holiness um, Penur Mbache, who you know, recently uh, passed away in Nirvana, and uh, his successor is uh, His Holiness Kamukuchi Rinpoche, and uh, other uh, two, uh, two Gus Rinpoches in our Nambiling Monastery. And uh, Solanath Kamukachar Rinpoche born in India and recognized by His Holiness Tunjum Rinpoche and uh, by our the Peyu uh, head lineage, His Holiness uh, Tuang Penno Rinpoche and uh, brought to the temple when he is only six years old. And then uh, from that until uh, 19... Uh, 94, I think 94 or 5, till to that uh, holiness have uh, taken care of him in uh, all the, uh, just not just only teaching and instruction, empowerment, even just clothing, footings and everything else, like one's own child that which you hear, like you know, three heart sons. So other two tugus and uh, including you know Kuchirumbache and uh, later uh, Kuchirumbache joined in our Nandu uh, Nyuma Institute that uh, Lama's Monks College where we have a whole complete Buddhist uh, study education for nine year course and Holdens has completed <coughs> all those teachings and then later Holdens Penurumbache sent him to Tibet uh, as our Peyul main mother monastery that which need to be taken care of, and that way Holness went to Tibet and he had been taking care of the Peyul Namjil Changchuk Chueling, that temple in Tibet for almost uh, 12 years and uh, till now uh, there is the monks and then the institution study and uh, Last, uh, I think, last two years before, then the Holdens built a big temple there, and uh, rest of you know just educations and retreat centers and so forth. Everything is running well, and uh, then uh, uh, Holdens came to our uh, retreat up the street uh, last few years, and uh, specifically this year as the main you know, teacher and tutor to complete all the, you know, ac uh, activities, Dharma activities there. And then uh, recently... So, uh, when we have this uh, precious human uh, river at our disposition, so it is important to uh, engage ourselves in the uh, virtuous action because that can bring uh, the happiness and then to avoid non-virtuous action which, is, which brings uh, the suffering. So all that kind of like uh, the discrimination between uh, what is right and wrong can be done only in this uh, human uh, river. Other than uh, that, it would be difficult to uh, have such kind of uh, opportunity to uh, make these uh, distinctions. Yogo, Lindy, 
So, in the uh, text, it is said that if we utilize this human uh, rebirth in a uh, positive way, then uh, that can uh, we can bring uh, us the liberation. And if we use this human uh, rebirth in a negative sense, so that can be uh, an anchor. Uh, stone to uh, to this uh, samsara. So it is said that our body is like a servant of both the uh, virtue and uh, the non-virtuous action. So in <coughs> this, uh, so uh, this body can be used in a uh, right and virtuous way, uh, to, so that we can get liberated from this cyclic existence or it can be uh, used in a negative sense whereby we will be engaging in the uh, negative karma and then have to face with the, uh, the consequences. So all, uh, whether uh, one wants to use this in the uh, positive way or the negative way, we just now we are in complete control over our mind. So like a servant, so we have to utilize this uh, body uh, so that we can engage ourselves in the uh, positive karma.